Hey friends, it's Heather. I am back with another process video for Butterfly Reflections Inc. If you have not been to their shop yet, uh, a ton of supply of products and extremely fast shipping. I mean, I'm super impressed with how quickly my packages arrive. And also with each order, you earn points for free product. There is a rewards program which keeps track uh, if you create an account, you can earn free products. So definitely check that out. It is, is definitely worth it. So I am working with Simple Stories Hello Summer Collection. And what you see there is, um, it's actually like the remnants of uh, cutouts that I made on my Silhouette um, cameo. And that is the outline it says vacation and then I also cut out the letters and at the time of cutting it I wasn't really sure what I was going to use so I could have cut them out from the pattern paper from the get-go and save myself this step but like I said I didn't know what I was doing at first so it was easy enough really to just use that that portion left over to trace onto pattern paper and it worked really well I mean the letters are you know they're straight they're they're simple enough to cut out by hand and you'll also see so there's starfish and some shells there i also cut out the outline and i cut out the detailed image and i kind of <laughs> i kind of went back and forth so i i cut out the solid image because i was going to use the detailed image as a stencil and you know, I would use the, the detailed cutouts for another project. So you'll see me inking this up. So there's my photo. It's, it, I printed it as an eight by 10 and it's of my daughter and my husband walking along the beach. Every year we go to Myrtle Beach and one day during the week, we get up really early to watch the sunset and we get um, collect shells. There's nobody on the beach at that time and it's so pretty out. And there always seems to be a ton of shells. And so when we get home, we like to decorate them and paint them. And we have a huge collection. But it's just a little tradition that we've been doing for years. And um, at 10, I'm still really happy that she enjoys doing that. Even though when we try to wake her up at that time of the morning, she's not thrilled. But she is happy that we end up going. So uh, that is what this layout is about. Just documenting that little tradition we have with her. Which seems fitting because we actually leave on Saturday for our annual trip to Myrtle Beach and I'm really looking forward to it. This picture is actually a couple years old. I've been holding on to it for a while. So here is what I was planning to do. So I've got my distress inks. I've got um, my retractable distress brushes and I also have those little... I'm not even sure what you call them. There's little wooden handles. There's a little like spongy nib on the bottom, which are great for detailed, small, you know, stenciling. And I use those for the majority of the time. The Distress brushes, I'm really happy that I have them, but I do have to say they're not my favorite after using them. The, the little hairs, they come out. Like after I'm done, they're, they're, there's just pieces of it everywhere. So maybe it's just because they're new. I, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll keep using them definitely. That larger brush is from Tonic. There's a set of four and I love those. However, they were not great for this type of project just because of it wasn't a true stencil. So if you see those little like the lines and the shell are coming up and it just it wasn't the best. I continue to use those little wooden sponge things. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're called and they weren't the best. So I'm just using a mix of some colors, tattered rose and abandoned coral. And I even use a little bit of worn lipstick just to shade and color them. And so that is what I thought I was going to end up using was just this, the solid image that I had stenciled, but it just didn't have enough dimension to me. I debated using uh, some glitter or embossing it, but it just, I end up inking up the detailed image that was also cut out and gluing that on top. And 
it saved me. I could have saved some work for myself if I had just done that from the beginning. But it was sort of a experiment for me. And I was happy to play with the inks. And because I glued it on top of the solid image, it has that white border. And that matches my title. So I was happy that I decided to do that in the end. And I ended up coloring or inking up a few of these images before I decided to do that. But I'll hold on to them for another project. I also ink up a starfish, which I use the peacock feathers for, and the tattered rose, which I know seems like an odd combination, but you'll see how it looks. And I apologize that part of the screen, part of what I'm doing is cut off, but um, I think you can see for the most part, it, it really isn't anything <laughs> scientific. It's just a matter of experimenting with the colors and the little sponge daubers and I really am happy with the way that they turned out so I just go back and forth with the inks with my uh, ink blender just around the edges and I think I, I only end up using one but like I said I, I will have them for another project so the picture like I mentioned I cut it out originally at 8 by 10 and I layered it with one of the pattern papers from the paper pad and I wanted the vacation to overlap it but I didn't necessarily want the photo to be on the other side if that makes sense so I cut the photo down on the right hand side and then the bottom left portion of the picture was just sand, but it was it printed dark. So it was the perfect spot to just layer the shells and some flowers. I used some of the chipboard and a die cut flowers. And there's also some two or three really pretty floral patterns in the paper pad, which I fussy cut some of the smaller flower clusters out of. And I glued everything together, essentially, just so I can move it as one piece. Um, that flower in the top right-hand corner, that is also a cut file that I backed with the same pattern paper that I matted my photo with. And I've already added a layer of clear gesso onto my white cardstock. And I'm just using my paintbrush and some plastic packaging to add some color just to peek behind the embellishments. I uh, use the same colors that I inked the shells up with, the other cut files. So Tattered Rose, Abandoned Coral, and I even pulled in some yellow because there is definitely some yellow visible in the embellishments. I use Squeeze Lemonade. Now that is just the regular Distress Ink. I don't have the Oxide, but I hope too soon. And then I experimented a little bit more and I pulled in evergreen bow now I do not have the regular distress ink for because for the longest time it screamed green to me like it's green is in the name but um I always imagine it being a green like Christmas green but it's actually not it's kind of a darky darky <laughs> it's new a dark like minty blue and it turns out to be a little dark for this but it it just in small doses of it it works for this layout and for because I haven't used it yet I put it on a portion of the background that would be covered up but you can still see a little bit of it coming out and I think that's the next color that I I put down yeah so just for the longest time like I said I just I I don't know why. Just don't judge a book by its cover, right? Isn't that what we're always saying and teaching our kids? It's totally what I did by the name, but I love the color of it and I will definitely use it again. Um, so I'm just using a mix of methods with the packaging and my paintbrush just to add some color and splatters just in those two areas where my embellishments will be, just so it peeks out a little bit behind. And then to the right of the screen, you can see some larger word die cuts. Those are from a doodle bug collection called Sweet Summer. It's They have this chit chat package, that's what it's called. It's got a lot of word die cuts. And I end up using that one that says beach and it has the arrow. 
it matches so perfectly to this collection. I tuck that in on the bottom left hand side. And other than some finishing touches with some sequins, that is pretty much the layout and the design of it. I The photo was really the main design element in that cut file. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So there you go, I've attached everything. I do, um, like I said, so there's that beach die cut and it just, it works perfectly tucked right in there. I add just, um, well that's the portion I cut off from that flower in the top right. You know, don't throw anything away. <laughs> so there are some flowers I fussy cut and there's a couple from the chipboard embellishments that I use. And also there's a pack of stickers. There's eight sheets. I use one of the sticker sunglasses. They're really small and I pop them up on little pieces of adhesive foam. And I added a couple more stickers just around the letters, just cause I felt like they were a little bare. Um, I also used my glossy accents on the sunglasses. You can't really see that now, but you'll see it in the still shots coming up. And then I added a little bit to the edges of my seashells. <laughs> I thought it was cute. Kind of like reminiscent of water, you know? So there's the sticker sheets. Um, there are so many stickers. So cute. I, um, after this, I just add some sequins, which I was really excited about. Uh, I got some new packages. The first one you see there is from Pretty Pink Posh. It's called Tutti Fruity. And then there's some mint sequins I use coming up uh, from Pretty Pink Posh as well. They're called Fresh Mint. And then the last package I use is from Neat and Tangled called Sunset Shimmer. And that has to be my new favorite mix of sequins. There's a couple different sizes and they're like this dark pink and dark pinky orange and gold mix. <laughs> that was helpful, wasn't it? Um, but I love them. So I sprinkle those around and I use glossy accents, which normally I would squeeze out some multimedia mat and use my tweezers. But I recently got the little, oh boy, I can't think of the name. It's the little glue bottle and it has the little needle um, it's not the fine line bottle that I use, but it's got a little cap to it. It's smaller. You'll see it here coming up shortly, but I recently got that from Butterfly Reflections Inc. And I put my glossy accents in it because I've used, there it is. I love it. I've used other lids and things for it, but I, mine always gets clogged no matter what I do. Now I've put my glossy accents in this bottle and for a couple days now and had no problem and I love it. So definitely check that out if you have a problem with your bottle. So this is it, my finished layout. I really hope you enjoyed watching and you found some inspiration maybe to use a large photo on your next project. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'll be back soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.